Human trafficking across Ohio is difficult to track because it happens sometimes in the shadows. But a team at the University of Toledo, in partnership with the Ohio Attorney General's office, is now trying to change that. News 5's Bryn Caswell explains the new screening tool coming soon to schools and area agencies. For the last three years, the Human Trafficking and Social Justice Institute at the University of Toledo has been developing a screening tool for children who may be at risk or involved in human trafficking. Executive Director Celia Williamson says it's ready to launch and goes beyond improving statewide reporting. What is helpful about that is that will help us to identify intervention strategies because we will know who, where, what. Um, and it will help us to take very limited money, time, and resources and spend it in smarter ways. Williamson says it's difficult to know exactly how many victims are being trafficked in the state, and this new screening tool will help gather more accurate data. We haven't been able to characterize in an accurate way the problem uh, because we just haven't developed or designed reporting tools that are either statistically valid or that um, people are willing to do. The screening tool will be comprised of 10 to 12 questions at a fifth grade reading level. It will soon be distributed to schools, hospitals, social services, and correctional facilities across Ohio for teachers, counselors, social workers, case managers, even law enforcement officers to administer. This tool is easy to use so the kid can take it themselves. The person can ask the questions. They can flip the tool to the backside and it will tell you exactly what to do, how to score it and what to do. Depending on a child's score, high risk or trafficked children will then be directed towards interventions or care plans. Denisha Green with the Cleveland Rape Crisis Center says a tool like this will help make a big difference in survivors healing journeys. And so the stakes are high. Um, it's critical to give survivors the response that they deserve and hold more offenders accountable. An adult version of the tool is being developed and will be ready in the next six to 12 months. Williamson says she hopes this screening tool doesn't just stop at human trafficking, but will eventually expand into domestic violence, abuse and chronic runaway screening and prevention plans. I think this is going to be uh, groundbreaking and it's going to move us forward, you know, in in good ways and leaps and bounds. In Cleveland, Bryn Caswell, News 5.